Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Victoria 2 as the Ottoman Empire in the Concert of Europe campaign that we are playing. So we're at war with the Russians. They declared on us for Georgia. And I don't know about this. I I don't know if I can continue this much longer. We're, we're taking pretty serious, pretty serious losses everywhere. Um, I'm running out of manpower. I've got basically no troops left to raise. I mean, I'm mobilized and, and everything, really. We're, we're pushing our country to the brink here. We're at 40% war exhaustion. We're, he's at 41. I mean, we've been able to kill quite a few of his troops, but there's no, like, decisive victories that's like, okay, we're going to win this now. I haven't been able to get that yet. We're just taking pretty, pretty bad losses. It's, it's hard to... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else we can do now. I mean, I'm trying my best to stack wipe them and, and, you know, get into some good engagements, but we're just, we're having, we're having too much difficulty here. I've got no troops left at all. And then Austria, even Austria is, is just out of men. He's got nothing left. And the Russians are moving in like a hundred thousand men into his terrain. Yeah, we're, we've lost, we've lost so much war score now. He's just got way too many men. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and acquire core here. And I think I might offer him a peace deal. See what I can do. Yeah, so he won't give me Crimea. But he will give me... He will give me some cores here. Holy shit. Wow, it's actually quite a bit. Okay, alright. We'll take that then. Let's go into mobilize. Okay, so we took some of this from uh, from the Russians. He's going to want even more of this back. Holy shit, we are hemorrhaging money. Oh my god. We are losing so much cash. Holy shit. Interest, military spending, education. Wow. Dude, during this war, we've literally blown through, like, thousands. Let's see. Defeating Crimea. We are unable to restore the Crimean continent's independence, and now the international community is, uh, will laugh our claims away. It seems that we will have to share the Black Sea after all. Shit. Yeah, I lost I lost those Crimean cores on some of this territory here, so... Oh, well. Yeah. So, we, we lost a lot of money paying for all this. Paying for this war. That's all right, though. Build some railroads. You're damn right I want some railroads. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to um, get this associationism tech. This collectivist theory would probably be not too bad of an idea because this gives me research points. Plus 15%. We need that. We need that pretty bad. Um, I think I want some of this industrial tech, though. I think I'm going to go for all of this. Medicine, and we're just going to go to the left. I just need some industrial tech right now. So I'm going to go ahead and let's take this. We lost a lot of prestige, but I'm going to go ahead and take this national conference here. We're number two in the world in prestige. We're number nine in military power. We're actually improving our industrial output by quite a bit. By quite a bit. Um, I'm going to have to start focusing on soldiers in most of my states after a little bit. So, um, the key is to stay ahead of the Russians in military tech, and we're, we're starting to make it happen. We just finished our associationism. Let's go for medicine. Let's get our fleets over here. Can I, can I build steamer? Shipyards? No. What do I need for that? Steamer shipyards. I think it's naval professionalism or iron steamers. What do I need to build? Yeah, what do I need to build this? Commerce readers. I need artillery and then I think that's, yeah, steamer. Steamer shipyards. Hell, I would love steam transports, but how the hell do I build them? Hmm. 
Traditionalism, huh? Pop consciousness. All right, how much war exhaustion do we have? 22%. Damn, we actually drove up the Russians a little bit higher than us. They actually had quite a bit of, of war exhaustion, so that's not bad. You know, that was nice. It was to, to kind of force them... Um, force them back as much as we could. Uh, Austria was a very reliable ally, I will admit. Austria is actually a pretty good ally. So, I might have spoken a little too soon about them. They did very well in that previous war. I was actually really impressed. Let's see, relations. Austria and the Ottomans. Persia. He doesn't like Persia either. Hmm. France is the workshop of the world. Holy shit, they're a great power and absolute monarchy. Dude, literally, they've gone back to the old days. Oh my god, they don't even have the tricolor anymore. Incredible. What's their population look like? 8.82 million. I've got 6.82. Wow. Alright. I've got no infamy, so I can invade Zaidi again. If I wanted to invade Zaidi, take that over. Or I could just, you know, let it ride. Let's build some railroads here for Egypt. Let's go ahead and pay back some of his debt. Boudinese influence? Sure. Imperious autocrat. That's our first minister. Sweet. Is a true autocrat or aristocrat. What? What the hell just happened, dude? We've been forced to declare bankruptcy? How the fuck did that happen? What? That doesn't make any sense, bro. What the hell are you talking about? We, got, we were forced to declare bankruptcy. How is that possible? We're making positive income. What the fuck just happened? 1857. Interest 101,000? Dude, what the hell just happened here? Total debt? How do we have debt? We were just about to pay back our loans. Okay, I I'm gonna go take a break here. I wanna see what the fuck just happened here. <laughs> 